Hey everyone, welcome back to my video. Today, I've installed the Evolution X9.4 custom ROM on my OnePlus 11R, and we're going to go through its features and my experience with it over the past week. Let's quickly set it up. Alright, after setting it up, one thing I noticed is that the screen brightness was consistently low. Now, this ROM is still under development for the OnePlus 11R, so this could be why. I've adjusted the brightness manually for better viewing. Let's check out what Evolution X has to offer. One of the first things you'll notice is that there's no built-in camera app. So I've installed Gcam. It works pretty well, though switching between lenses is a bit slow. It even includes the Leica mode for taking amazing photos, especially in night mode. The night shots come out great, as expected. The touch response feels smooth, operating at 120Hz. Now, let's dive into the Evolver settings, where Evolution X really shines. This section lets you customize just about everything. Themes, lock screen, status bar, quick settings, and even gestures. It's perfect if you love personalizing your phone. Under miscellaneous, you'll find options like spoofing, screenshots, and screen recording unlocks. The spoofing feature is awesome. It can fix play integrity, enable pixel props, encrypt your storage, and even give you unlimited Google Photos backup. You can also spoof Snapchat to take high-quality snaps, just like a Pixel device. Since the ROM comes with Kernel SU inbuilt, all of this works seamlessly. If you want to know more about Kernel SU, I'll be making a detailed video on how to install it in this ROM. Here's that Evolution X9.4 is installed, and it's running Android 14. Now, let's talk about battery performance. Initially, the phone did heat up during charging, but over time, it has improved. There's a charging control feature and battery widgets to monitor everything. You can even set pixel phone ringtones and notification sounds in the sound settings. Under wallpapers, you get all the pixel wallpapers, which is good for changing wallpaper every day and the Fun Emoji Workshop to customize your home screen. Kernel SU is working flawlessly, and I've already installed some modules. The Super User feature is running just fine. The screen refresh rate with 120Hz is amazing, just check this out. When I try to log into Snapchat, I ran into an error. But don't worry, I've already made a video showing how to fix this. Check out the card in the corner for the solution. Next up in the Play Store. As you can see, the device is Play Store certified. If you're facing issues with this, I've also made a video on how to fix that. Let's check safety net status, and it's passed. The Play Integrity Test is also a success which means all the spoofing options are working great. Next up, let's run the CPU throttling test so we get a good understanding of performance. The CPU throttling test ran smoothly with no significant heating. The phone and messaging apps work just fine as well. One thing that annoys me is the auto brightness. It doesn't always work as expected. The Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and even 5G are working fine, although I noticed the 5G range isn't as strong as I'd like. The Google Photos Unlimited Storage Spoof is working perfectly. The integration towards spoofing is much better than expected. Netflix also runs without any issues and has no sign-in issues in custom ROM. Also, YouTube works properly with no issue. However, when I restored my backup, the Instagram app was not restored. 
and when I tried installing it manually, I got this compatibility error from the Play Store. It's the only app I've had this issue with so far. It has a circle to search feature and works well. Also, it has inbuilt Gemini app. Now, there's a small bug with the fingerprint sensor. Every time I unlock the phone or use a payment app like PhonePay, Pee, the entire screen flashes. Here I have shown in slow motion, so you can understand. I have tried to capture in the camera that it's an eye-catching bug which you will face daily if you use the ROM. If we use it for payments such as PhonePay, Google Pay, or any app you will see the bug. Let's move to Game Space. It offers some cool features, like using the angle render and switching between performance and battery saving modes for different games. It's inside game library where you add games, just click the setting option for particular game, and you will get those options. Let's play BGMI. I tested BGMI for about two hours. The phone did heat up, but there was no lag during gameplay. Overall, I'd say this ROM is a gaming beast. The gameplay was awesome with the best rendering at whatever the condition it went in the game. Battery drain in idle mode is good, but one downside is the charging speed. It tops out at 15 to 13 W, which is quite slow. On top of that, the phone heats up while charging. To wrap it up, Evolution X 9.4 is a solid choice if you're into gaming and customization. However, the low brightness issue and slow charging could be deal breakers for some. I have made a detailed installation video for Evolution X ROM, do check that out. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this review helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more custom ROM content. Also join our Telegram group for more support needed. See you in the next one.